Hello and welcome to today's episode of the Channel's Book Club. A recent government policy has sparked debates and protests amongst people within Nigeria's publishing, education, and book sectors. The policy has led to the imposition of over 50% tariffs on importation of scientific and education-related books into Nigeria. Here is how the numbers now read for importers of such books. Import duty, 20%. Surcharge 7%, CISS 0.5%, Levy 30%, and VAT 5%. Prior to this policy, books were tariff free, so to speak. From the government's perspective, this new policy forms part of its fiscal policy measures designed to encourage self sufficiency in local industry. Basically, the government wants to encourage local printers. In today's episode, we'll be looking at the potential impact of this policy on Nigeria. Please join us after we take a short break. Many factors define your health. Some you can control, while others are simply beyond you. On Health News, we highlight all these factors and through medical experts provide information that will help you take informed decisions on healthy living, nutrition and keeping fit. Get incisive health quality analysis. Health news promoting good health. Ehosa Imaswen is the Chief Operating Officer of Kachifo Limited, publishers of Farafina Books. He is also the author of the famous novel titled Fine Boys. Robert Lawson is a practitioner in the book importation and distribution business in Nigeria with significant knowledge of the inner workings of the book chain across the country. He is also the national treasurer of the Booksellers Association of Nigeria. These two specialists joined us to discuss the potential effect of the new policy that has imposed fresh tariffs on book importation in Nigeria and a few other issues around the subject. Please stay tuned. Thank you for joining us on the Channels Book Club. Thank you for having me. Thank you, Kunle. Yeah. Thank you. Let's start with understanding how the books we see on our bookshelves, in the bookshops, in our okay. homes, offices, and so on. How do they get there? It's easy to assume that somebody just walks into a bookshop and, and bought it. But how do they get? What's the chain like? Well, a lot is involved um, for... Um, a distributor, for instance, who represents a number of publishers outside the country. Um, you'll basically bring in the books, you'll import them. Aside from the few that are um, produced locally by our own authors or written locally, um, for the imported product, um, the imported books, a, a series of um, activities, a chain, a sequence of events, Importation, for instance, um, so long as you have the, um, the, the rights anyway, you are representing these um, publishers to distribute their materials here in the country. Mm. Okay, I mean, I mean the, the, the process aside, yeah. would you say there are more of import, imported books in Nigeria than books that are produced locally? Certainly, to my knowledge, yes. There are a lot of percentage terms, generally, how would you... Um, do have, is it 60, 40, is it 70, 30? I might say 70, 30, really. I might say 70, 30. Mm. Yeah. So there are more of imported books in Nigeria than locally than, than produced have books. locally produced books. What's the explanation for that, in, in your opinion? Well, uh, you see, a lot of, um, I mean, just like the other manufacturers have the infrastructural issues, you know, to contend with, it affects even the book industry, too. Uh, and then the materials, um, you know, the, the development, I mean, they, they also require inputs for, for manufacturing to produce the books, you know, and then you have um, maybe tariffs okay. that can sort of inhibit you know, the... Local printing. The, exa so exactly. It's easier printing overseas. Overseas, like and then the quality so and all of that, yeah. Mm. Printers, okay, mm. yeah. Um, Igosa, yeah. the new government policy, Yes. Um, can, can you explain it briefly and how 
What's your reaction to it? Um, it, it was with this, it was, it was, it was with, um, no, it wasn't with mild shock. It was um, about 10 days ago when we found out that um, on just a cursory, while we were trying to import our new, getting our new books in, because we are in Nigerian publishers, we are an indigenous pub, pub publisher. They were now found out that there was an, there was a duty on scientific and educational books, where before it was zero. It had been raised to scientific and, and educational, educational books. books. Yes, it had been raised to um, twenty percent duty with a thirty percent levy. Um, now, the, the the why it why it shocked us was that we were sure it was a clerical error somewhere, but we uh, were given a photocopy of the circular that was sent from the um, um, office of the um, coordinating minister of the economy of the CME. Um, it was something to do with the common external tariff extension, or the ECOWAS thing, and we found out that it had increased the tariff. In a, I, I, I want to believe inadvertently, because the problem is this, is that Nigeria is signatory to an international agreement which says that there will be no duties on books. And the logic behind it is not, it's not the normal, it's not the, it's not the patriotic thing now. No, it's just that the patriotic thing is to remove all inhibitions to a free flow of information. And what books do? Books carry information. Yeah. So you, if you, if whether you make your own medical books or not, you want medical books abroad to come in free so, you, so your people can gain that knowledge. Yeah. You do, not, you do not want to save it. A printing industry is different from a book industry. The book industry is publication, it's selling books, it is passing information around, it is creating information and building it. Yeah. The printing industry is printing those books. And in the increasing specialization of this new world, we find out that printing has been outsourced to the East Asian countries. That's where the British print, that is where the Americans print, that's where the old world prints. So inadvertently, this new law damages the book industry, yeah. Completely, and that was, and it shocked us because we, we took it took us by surprise. It was when we got to the ports that we found out that there was a new law. We were never consulted. Our union, the Nigerian Publishers Association, has also taken it up and, and written. So hopefully, will be things will be better. And based on the Florence Agreement of 1950, the UNESCO Agreement on the Importation of Cultural, Educational, and Scientific Materials, books, Article One, of which were signatory, we, we were signed in by the UK we were part of the United Kingdom in 1950, and we, and we signed again as the government in succession in 1961. So there's, the agreement states it clearly that there should be no import duty on books, except those that, are, that have heavy advertisements. And in the protocols of the Florence Agreement, which were decided in 1986, I think, in Nairobi, the definition of books which have heavy advertisements are books, magazines with more than 75% adverts, and books with more than 25% adverts, basically, um, Brokers that are advertising something. So, but when, when, so that's the effect it has had. It's, it's a shocking effect. So basically, the point is that um, most nobody's clearing books right now because everybody's, because there's no, because the information that 